Hi. Today we are going to learn how to plot a simple graph using GME Octo. Let's get started. To plot a simple graph, we required two axes, that is x and y axis, basically. So we are going to have two different values to plot a graph. Let us start with a simple problem. Simple problem. So I'm going to assign a value on the x-axis that is nothing but a is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 a uh, 6 unit uh, like 6 unit which I am going to plot on the x-axis now I am going to assign for the y-axis b is equal to 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 so these are the value for the y-axis so plot plot a which means the x-axis b that is on the y-axis so if I give enter what happens a simple plot is been plotted at x-axis I have assigned 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and again at y axis I have given 0 to 60. I got a linear graph. So this is a very simple way of plotting the graph, a simple problem. We will solve one more problem. Now in this problem, I am going to assign various things like I am going to plot a graph and again I am going to give the name for the axis as well as the title for the graph. We will see how it works. So let me assign the x axis first. So x is equal to lint space 0, 10, 100. In between we are using comma. What does it mean by lint space means? So in between 0 to 100, 10, 0 to 10, we are going to have 100 different values. A space of like in between 0 to 10, we are going to divide this 0 to 10 in terms of 100 parts. You can see here. So I, had, I have divided 0 in 100 parts. So that is basically what is mean by the lint space. So that is the value I have assigned for the x-axis. Now for the y-axis. y is equal to exponential x divided by 10. We are going to divide the value of x into 10 exponentially dot star sine of 4 star x. So we are going to introduce a trigonometric term sine. So when we see this sine, let us imagine the nature of gra graph will be in terms of the sinusoidal wave. So this is basically a wave propagation or wave formation problem. Okay. Now let us plot this graph.
See, I have given lot of detailing, but I want to explain you each and everything what it is significant. So let me delete this term and I want to show you only the graph, the nature of graph, how it looks. When I give enter, see, this is the nature of graph, of wave pro propagation, how the wave propagates. So this is a sample problem. So this type of problem it is used to determine the tsunami formation near the seashore. So they have used this type of software to see the propagation of the wave and accordingly how the tides are raising and falling down. A simple example. Okay. We just plotted a graph. But we have not mentioned what is the y-axis, x-axis and what is the title of the graph. It is totally unknown. So this is something and this is something and we don't know what it is. So what we are going to do is we are going to give the names or we are going to give the axis name and title of the block so that like we can able to understand what exactly x-axis means what exactly y-axis means. So that is called as label. So before labeling, before labeling, let us see the graph. So in this graph, I want to change the color of this graph. So how to do that? See here. Plot. x comma y x comma y comma you should use strings and if i give r r represent the color red and if i give enter look at that the color of the graph is being changed from blue to red. Basically, a default color when you plot any graph will be in terms of blue. So you can change the color. Let me change. Let me change to green. Plot x comma y comma in Inside the string, I am going to use green color. That is nothing but G. So you can see the graph when I change the color. Yes. Can you able to see? There is a change in color from red to green. By this way, you can assign or change the color. Okay. So when I see this plot, when I see this plot, it is very thin line. It seems to be very thin line. So I want to bold this line. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use plot x comma y comma. Let me use the same color green comma I'm going to use inside the string line width line width and I'm going to assign a font size of 2 uh, let me give some 5 so that I can see the boldness of the line and enter C the graph line thickness is being changed it has become bolder so by this way you can increase the width of the line okay let me give labeling 
to the x-axis and y-axis. X label in bracket I am used as time in second. Inside the string I am used time comma second. Similarly, let me give labeling for y-axis. So it is a function of x. Inside, inside the string we are given the function of x. So y in terms of function of x and x is in terms of time in second. Okay, we will see the graph. Yes, it is updated with respect to time. Now you can see with, with respect to x-axis and y-axis, we have assigned a labeling or we assigned what exactly the x-axis and what is y-axis. Now let me give the title for the graph. So title is wave formation. Title is wave formation. T I T A L E inside bracket inside strings we need to give wave formation. Let me see the graph. See. Now we can able to see the graph is full and the graph has a lot of sense. So what exactly x-axis represent, y-axis represent and what is the name of the graph? It is wave formation. Okay. You can see with respect to grid size also. You can zoom in and zoom out all these options. It is easy. Fine. So this is a simple problem which we tried today. Thank you. See you soon.